Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back to the video and in this one, I'll be going over the few changes they made in this update how you feel about this update, my opinions and if it's a W or an L update so before we start, if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and join my discord and now, let's get started so firstly, I wanted to talk about the new scaling of the new champions so as you can see, there's a new pumpkin over bag right over here and there are champions and accessories within it but these champions actually don't give you damage they scale off of your best unit so this one scales 70% off of my best unit and if I check this one, this one does 80% now these are the same as the black hole orb and the black hole orb is actually going in a week so if you want you can try to get the champions for that but it's actually not really worth it and the cosmic from here which is the champion also gives 100% copy of your best champion as the planet so this egg is overall better to hatch and yeah so how they did this is like suppose i just equip my takeshi right now he has 79 million damage but if i select the vampire guy who deals 80 percent of my strongest damage unit he's gaining 104 million but as you can see he's gaining more than that now people are wondering if this is a bug and so but in reality it's actually not now what they did in this new update is that these people these champions which scale off of your best unit actually scale off of your core your accessory and these stat as well so in reality this unit is the 104 million damage out of 80 percent and if i had 100 percent then it will increase with more damage so essentially it's copying 80% of every buff of damage that this guy does and the total damage that he does now there are also three new codes the first one is 100k fails second one is ball and the last one is spooky gremlins now i also wanted to talk about the new candy system so if you didn't already know in the new update for the Halloween update, a new currency has been added candy. And you need candy to unlock this orb as I said before and get the new champions and accessories. Now, candy is actually pretty inconsistent right now. As if I just come over here and check the ghostly worlds, which is a, which is a server, a global event, happens every two hours and they last for 30 minutes. So essentially what happens is that mobs will spawn in and you defeat those mobs and each mob gives you candy now the problem with that is that whenever you do a server event within 24 hours and do another one you will get less candy so the more events you do within a time span of 24 hours the less you will get so suppose it's a new day i do a raid at uh, the new server event and i get 1 million candy now the next time i do it suppose after 1 hour or 2 hours whenever the next event comes I'll be getting 200k and then it just keep on going down and down so that is kind of frustrating as firstly I was getting 500,000 candy and after that after two more I was getting around 30k in 30 minutes which is actually not that much but the event is here for two to four weeks or even a month so we have a lot of time to grind these candies but still at the moment it feels a bit inconsistent so I hope they buff candies or something because you can just buy and so much candies from the shop and it's like it's not really that balanced right now and even in raids whenever you complete one impossible raid it only gives you 5000 candy from the chests and the purple one gives you 30,000 but you can only open once with every key and you get a key every day so it's not that fast but yeah I hope they just buff the candies a bit and then this update will be actually way more easier and it'll be way more fun that way now one really good plus point of this event is that you can hatch a bunch of accessories and then easily come over here and easily scrap them for scraps now when this update just came out like the moment it came out i hatched this egg a lot and it actually went over this 100 cap and i got around 600 accessories so with all that i made some scrap and now i have 1900 scrap now this would generally take about four to five or even ten hours of just doing raids 
and with this event a really good plus point is that you can get scraps easily and with all these scraps you can just come over here and try to get perfectionist on most of your accessories and they also added a new mythic accessory a mythical accessory which can be equipped on any unit so right now we are using ACS slicer right over here it's the only mythical accessory that you can use on any unit and this was before this update came out of course and now you can just farm a bunch of these cosmetics and these accessories and then try to get perfectionist on them and any unit you get after that will all be having perfectionist and will be really really overpowered so now for comparison i'll just do two survey events right after each other and i'll show you what i get So after doing the first trade of our day, we got 1.23 million candy and we used a damage boost, a damage potion and the 2x coins potion. We also have the 2x coins game pass and we used our normal damage team. And now let's check back and see what we get from doing the second event of the day. Now as you can see there's a clear difference between those two. First I got 1.25 million candy, secondly I got 400,000. Now I did another event, the third event of camp and from that I got 100,000. So yeah it is pretty slow but considering we got a month and 1 million or like if we tally up all of the events and you do suppose 4 events a day that's like almost 2 million candy so 2 million candy a day for like even 2 weeks is actually pretty insane and like you can almost definitely get this cosmic like there's a high chance if you just grind 3 events a day and then try to hatch this new cosmic and yeah so you can have different views on this candy system but after doing this re research it does feel a bit inconsistent but as well like we have a lot of time to grind this so yeah now another problem with this game at the moment is repetition so currently this game just feels a bit repetitive as you just have to afk and keep grinding like you just come over here to the best world generally right over here once you do zip then you just keep on hatching and you aim for the cosmic if you get the cosmic you just go to the first world get 10 more cosmics ascend it twice and that's your best unit for now and then you just spin quirks keep doing raids and it just feels a bit repetitive and it kind of gets a bit boring at times and that's the main issue and what they did this time was that oh, by update 3 they released this new word the ant world but they did not release the raid now they, it might seem beneficial for some people and it might be useful but for me and for other people like we were already doing raids and we now had another week of doing the same raids same eggs hatching and it just felt a bit overwhelming and it was not that great to for keep farming and one thing they could add right now in the game is probably tournaments 
like you can scale in the tournaments get better champions and with those champions you can climb tiers and similar to the tower you can get gems or many other rewards so i think that will help bring out the game a bit more and people will actually start enjoying it a bunch more than they actually are right now now in conclusion i just wanted to make this short video about what i feel about this event and what they can do to improve this game further and do some stuff that can keep other people entertained and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below whether you agree with me disagree or have opinions of your own and yeah i hope you enjoyed and if you do help you out if you did please leave a like and subscribe below and i'll see you all in the next one